morning. I will start with something that you may not be familiar with, and I'll tell you what it means. <laughs> if you didn't know, one of Elias is our PR manager. <laughs> For those who do not know, this is called an Obama. You know why Obama? Okay, grab me outside like she said, I'll explain. Uh, mine is going to be a very brief one, depending on how you behave. I am going to thank those people who brought us here. And I'm going to thank the guest speaker properly. And then I'm going to do announcements. That's all I have to do. Simon, thank you very much. I am told that a significant part of the people who are here came to this breakfast not because of number 43, not because of my ball, but because of you. Yes, you see. <laughs> May I say to the gathering, Simon was supposed to be in Europe today, but he sacrificed to be here. The main reason that got him to come here is because he was told it's national duty. Um, there is something that we need to give to Simon, which we believe he's going to cherish. It's called the Magogo Award. Just so that everybody sees what it's about, it's not a brown envelope. <laughs> this is what it is. This is how it looks when it's closed. Thank you very much. This year, this year we top it up with a cap. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah. Thank you very much. I think. This year was a very different agitation exercise. Lots of come out and a participation from the youth was actually outstanding. I learned a lot sitting down there and trying to connect the dots. And from my thinking, a few things came up which I think are important uh, to share if they make sense to people. Simon emphasized the issue of being global, thinking global, making it a lifestyle. You don't do it because you're looking for a job. You don't do it because you want to go for training. You do it because you have to. It is, it is an imperative for us because we're a small open economy. We are exposed to the rest of the world. COVID reminded us, Russia reminded us, Israel reminded us, and that means whatever happens in other parts of the world has a direct impact on what we do here. But what we may want to think about going forward is there is something that is still controversial when Russia did its invasion and there was no grain coming into the continent. 
we had our heads of state going to Russia, cap in hand, to go and plead for grain to be released. We missed a huge opportunity there. The opportunity was those heads of state should have put more money into agriculture to replace the grain. The other thing I learned is for the youth, it is important to be there. They say the best way to learn is being there. And what that does is it doesn't matter how much reading you do, how much classroom attendance you do, if you're not there when decisions are made, you've lost out. That means as the youth, it's, it's, it's extremely important that you are inquisitive, be hungry, think about the quality of the dreams that you dream, and I think I like that. The person who's, who said it, thinking about the quality of the dream, is from a place that makes magic. I don't know if you know that place. Learning from each other. Very important. I like the question from one of the young girls here. Where is she? Please stand up. I think it's important. I like the question that you posed at the gathering. And only one person was bold to provide you an answer. Much as he's suffering from this head disease, there's something about a certificate that microeconomics talks about. Microeconomics tells us that a certificate is merely a signal, a signal of how you can be trained and how trainable you are. It says nothing about productivity. Now, he may be carrying a PhD, but we don't know how productive he is. Does he look productive? <laughs> so those are the things we need to think about. As we think about those PhDs and qualifications, it's important to make sure that we use them for the right reasons. Not every PhD helps the world. Now, there are specific requests that have been made, and I think these are important to be responded to. Those of us from the financial sector, please stand up. So for the students, look at these people. Before they go, and if you have an interest in the financial sector, get their business cards. Can you see them? Stand up and look at them properly. Okay? Thank you very much. Those from the research and consulting sector, please stand up. Look at them very well. Okay, make sure if you are interested in this sector, you get their business cards. Those who are entrepreneurs running their own successful businesses. <laughs> The operative term is successful. <laughs> okay, look at them very carefully. If you're interested in doing business at some point when you're done with school, get notes from them. Those who are in sectors that I have not identified, like politicians. <laughs> Like video entertainment people, those who make magic. What else? Please stand up. Magic. <laughs> <laughs> Teachers, agriculture, please stand up. Very, very important. Look at them. If you're interested in anything that you think is going to make you a better person tomorrow, follow them. And the last one, thank you very much. 
those from the spiritual community. This underpins all that you do. Education, hard work, or anything, if you don't have that, you might as well not do anything. Now, I'm no longer talking as a scientist, so you can go and find out why I'm saying that. Umfundi Sukon. We'll have more spiritual people at the Taladina. Then, I would like to thank a few people who have been instrumental in bringing us here. Colleen, I'm told, has stepped out. But Colleen and team, and everybody knows Colleen now, has made sure that we continue to have this successful roundtable. I would also like to thank DNA Economics. Yash, please stand up. Even though, even though they dumped us somewhere down the line, but they were very instrumental in carrying us in the early days of the foundation. They would do a report every year, come and report and, and present it the following year. But we realized that technology does it better than them. <laughs> Power of AI. And then lastly, I would like to formally recognize the political inspirer of number 43, who's come to join us here for a very specific reason, which I will not re reveal today. I'll reveal tomorrow night. Uh, and that is Babetemba Masu. So put, to put him into better context for those who do not know him, he is, do you prefer X or former? <laughs> <laughs> he is the ex-deputy prime minister of Swaziland, Eswatin. And he's here carrying a very serious message which the Masilela family has to think about very seriously. And those who want to join us for the dinner tomorrow will know what it's about. And I would like to thank everyone for braving the cold. But I can, tell, I can tell you, for those who were here last year are doing it for the second time, it was a better morning. Yes. <laughs> the people of Paris pray very well. Last year we're told that it, it was the warmest winter day in 10 years. I think today will be the warmest winter day in 20 years. <laughs> then I have to tell you what's going to happen for the rest of today, or sorry, for the rest of the weekend. Those of us who are going to be with us. As a start, there's a QR, QR code at the door. Can you please scan it? It will give you a guide to what is going to happen and give you the programs for the rest of the weekend. When we leave here now, we are going to give encouragement to the people who are going to be playing golf. They, they tee off at 10.30. So we will drive with them, make sure they tee off properly. If they don't tee off properly, we'll have to change our agenda. But the agenda is once they tee teed off properly, those of us who do not play golf, you've got two options. The first option is to take a drive to one of the oldest craters in the world, which was formed over a billion years, over a billion years ago. This is 20 kilometers from here. We'll go there, view, have a picnic and come back. And the second option is if, what was that? Picnic. Picnic. Okay. <laughs> For those of us who think the crater is not exciting, the town is very exciting. There's a lot to buy. It's one of the unique towns globally. You'll have the opportunity Tuesday. You'll also have the opportunity tomorrow. And then tonight, 
we will have what is called the prize giving cocktail stroke dinner. Some will be seated, some will be standing. Those who will be standing are those who have not paid for the dinner. <laughs> but what is even more interesting is Colleen has extended this dinner slightly. It is now an arts promotion dinner, which started last year. It will continue today and it will continue into the future. Last year we unveiled a, a it's not a movie. What is it? A series. A series of Shaka Ilembe. And the students that were there were extremely fascinated. Tonight, we are going to release the latest series of To Come Up of Multi Choice, which is coming up sometime in July. So you are, you are actually honored to have at least half a month's advance notice of what it's going to be like. This will be the series called The Rain is Coming. R-E-I-G-N, not R-A-I-N. The Rain is Coming. And this is the story of the Rain Queen, Mujaji. And I'm sure that everybody is going to love it. Courtesy of multi-choice. Then tomorrow, we are going to have a 10 kilometer walk. Not here, but in Tumahule Township. So those who are staying here will wake up, have breakfast. The walk is supposed to start at 10 o'clock. We should leave here latest 9.30. We will convoy from here to the Tumahule Methodist Church. The gentleman who stood up and spoke about number 43 and how he loves number 43, he's from that church. Ntati, let them see you again. These are our hosts in Paris. We will do the 10 kilometer walk in Tumahule. We will talk to the community. We'll do exactly what we're doing today but informally. And after the 10 kilometer walk, we'll go back to the Methodist church and we will do Makogoism. We all know what Makogoism is, eh? Yes. No? no. Yes. Okay. Makogoism is the spirit of giving and sharing selflessly by everybody, including the recipients. Umakoko used to say, You'll translate to English. I don't know how to do this. Abantuana bumuntu bashleplelana introgo yentet. I answer this long. Who can translate? I'll come to the PhD guy. I was offering to translate it to the school. Oh yeah, I think the people in Paris will appreciate that. Thank you. Any English speakers here? Hey, we have my Namibian friends. No, 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 no. PhD, can you help? You want to help? Umakoko used to say uh, to us, if you have if you have little, it's enough to share. You know, so that's the thing that she always used to teach us. And Fantastic. That's what we're trying to emulate in our life. Thank you very much. And then. In the evening of tomorrow, we have the big event, the annual lecture and gala dinner. And the guest speaker tomorrow night is going to be Tony Ehrenreich. That is the Secretary General of COSATU in the Western Cape, who's going to talk to us about the role of organized labor as an important community that brought liberation to South Africa. And hopefully, he's going to tell us where organized labor is taking South Africa going forward. With the GNU or no GNU, I'm sure they have a solution for us. Thank you very much. We're all clear. Let's then arrange ourselves to follow the program as unveiled. 
If you're not sure, scan me. Thank you very much.